seriously, I, I would just like to say, can someone please address this chair? Because if anyone wants to know, there's a problem with it. Because I don't think it's supposed to, like, you know, sink like an elevator shaft when you sit on it. And we're stable for the moment. These are moments in live TV, people, that you couldn't script if you tried. <laughs> Welcome in. Um, we're into our second hour of our big bonanza, all new silver sale. If you're looking for the hottest looks for spring, summer of this year, the colors, the robust silhouettes, or in this case, gold girls, the gold that you've never seen on a big bonanza silver day before, you have tuned into the right two hours in the right place. Okay, backstory. It is only today, this year, our first year in 23 years of doing Big Bonanza, we've ever included gold on a silver day. It's almost like putting um, lobster in macaroni and cheese, right? But the reason we did it is because this is 18 karat gold over sterling. So it works. This is your choice of either that beautiful Gothic cathedral European cross or the heart in a brand new drop pair of earrings with 18 karat and diamonds. You're looking at a lever back earring. I'm gonna show you the back because the hammering is exceptional. Again, it kind of looks like um, a very Etruscan, almost Byzantine um, archeological type dig piece. Um, love the fact that not only it does this give you the um, duo colors of metals, the yellow and the white. So if you're a sterling or a gold gal, um, on any given day, you can wear your sterling bracelets with these earrings or your gold wedding ring set with these earrings because they have that kind of duo um, color going on. But I also love that they have two of the most enduring symbols going on, faith and love. And in the center of the cross, which sidebar is the most popular, and in the um, beautiful heart as well, you are getting an eighth of a carat of diamonds. Um, at the top of the earring, you are getting the fleur de lis, which is one of the also most enduring symbols of um, the lily flower that's seen on family crests and in French heraldry. On the ear, these are like little golden, and I mean, there is something so different about the color of 18 karat, if we can just talk about that for a second. The warmth, the golden, the, the, the luxury of melted butter made into a precious metal. The color is unmatchable. And then I love the hammering because these are little hammered 18 karat over sterling discs that at the center, I, I don't know why these remind me of like the Da Vinci Code in the cross. Um, in the center, you get these beautiful handset clear white diamonds um, that are beautifully pave set um, they are lever back, so they're going to stay in your ear, which is frankly what you want. Lever back is the most secure closure. You want that when it comes to gold and diamonds. These are an eighth of a carat diamonds and 18 carat gold for under $100. It's literally virtually almost unheard of unless you do it on a big Bonanza silver sale day. All right, this is a buyer's pick. This is a twisted bangle in ultra fine. This is the only ultra fine bangle on the day. And twists have it for spring, summer. Um, so this is a twist. It is hinged. It is done on three easy payments. Um, we will give you a longer presentation of that coming up. But that is a beautiful one in our assortment. And certainly a brand new that you have never seen until today. All right. So this is my favorite ring in the whole show. This comes in your choice of smoky quartz. The Limon Quartz or Rose de France, which is the um, beautiful kind of lavender amethyst color. That's all sterling silver. White barrels from the same family as emerald. They look like white diamonds, but they are barrels that are... <laughs> Can I please? Can I help you, Sean? <laughs> please, so for nice. the love of
we need to compose ourselves because actually someone extremely poised and elegant has joined me on set and that's never my forte but when Irene Cassi is here we've got it all good and frankly <laughs> we're also going to Italy and not a single hunky Italian man in Italy would want to hear me snort laughing so let's get it together Sean Killing uh, Irene how are you? Mwah. Fine thanks. And it's a pleasure. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. So good Irene morning. Cassi brings us um, a very special treat on the day. She brings us our Veronese line. Our Veronese line is our line of 18 karat over sterling jewelry. And I must say the ring you are wearing, yeah. um, the ring we are about to present, comes to us from our Veronese line. And it's very special that we've included gold on a silver day. But because this is 18 karat gold over silver, which frankly then $67 is laughable for this. Um, it made sense to start including Veronese, our clad lines on the silver day. And I must say this is the only presentation of the day for this ring. It is made in Italy, it is new, you've never seen it before. The hammering looks very Byzantine to me, if I may just say. Um, and I will also just share with you that we only have about 700 of these to go around. Irene, this is spectacular. Yes, it's stunning. I mean, I love this ring because mm. I love big ball, look so I wear in fact in the middle finger yeah. I love to wear uh, rings that are uh, substantial that are uh, that you feel the presence and uh, this ring is something amazing the mm, crossover motif stands alive thanks to the bold hammered textures and I mean when you wear it it's so comfortable because of course it has got a, sh a tapered shank mm. to a better fit here, can we show here we'll yeah, just show sure. you because around what, what Irene is talking about yeah. is the fact that most bold rings are not as comfortable, but this does slightly taper on the underside. But I do, the domedness, the hammering, those little divots or dimples in the 18 karat that is laden over the silver, um, the, the presence here is almost like, you know, we went on this crazy archaeological dig and, yes. and uprooted such a precious ancient find. And yet, I know You're this right. was made at a factory outside Vicenza. So could you tell us how they do yes, that? Yes, sure. Because these are, in fact is a design inspired by an Etruscan design and what you were saying it's right it's perf perfectly right because it uh, seems like uh, an ancient ring but with uh, uh, an updating look with a new fresh look because uh, the band ring like these are so in fashion mm. right now oh, and so. the, the biggest they are the in my opinion the, the mm, beautiful are beautiful are mm -hmm. really something uh, astonishing and it's a like an eye-catching style because it gives light to your um, to your finger it gives light to you it almost to me looks like an American love knot have you heard of the love knot? yes sure um, or even like a big nautical sailors knot because these two bold domed bands that are done in this dimpled 18 karat kind of and I, I will say you know as a sidebar to my own comments so I'm kind of sidetracking my own self here for under $68 how beautiful this would be on a left hand finger yes, as a wedding so. band or an engagement band you're right if you're you need right. something that is not a high and mighty prong set diamond depending on the work that you do or if you travel the gold presence here and the glow of it is yeah, really quite exceptional the color this warm color buttery yellow color uh, it's perfect it's so warm and you can mix with your 18 karat gold jewelry because sure. of course the bonding is 18 karat gold Right. But <laughs> you, you don't know that the inside there is silver, so, but you know because you pay a fraction of the cost of it. All right, so these earrings are where we're going to go next, and I'm very pleased to bring them to you. They are also only present of the day, presentation of the day is right now, right now. And in addition to being the only presentation of the day, mm -hmm. um, I was saying earlier that a lot of our looks throughout these two hours together are seen and featured in Vioro, Vioro. Magazine. Yes. Can you liken Vioro Magazine to a magazine here in America? Would it be your our version of kind of a Vogue? Yes, you're yes. right, because it's a trend magazine, but you really, really ex exclusive. And you can find these uh, kind of editorial and uh, pictures of these earrings which are uh, stunning. I love them because stunning. they are something new. Even if they are hoop earrings, these elongated oval shape, uh, I mean it's like an open drop. They are a little bit different from the usual regular hoop earrings. Mm -hmm. And they are so light shown because they have been made thanks to the electroforming technique. So that c allows you to have a big ball loop without having the weight. No, oh, first of all, if these were solid gold, we would all be looking at a mortgage payment at least. Second yes. of all, it any the shape is so fascinating. 
As you can see on Chantal, at just the angle of her face, they almost look like a sliver. They look that thin because they are so delicate. Ah, perfect, right? So there's that. But then when she turns sideways, then you see this kind of um, angular domed fascia that gives you this explosion of 18 karat. And again, that's 18 karat for $59 and change in a new earring only presentation of the day that our buyers wanted to bring to you because Irene, is it not now the trend, because these are a two and, and quarter inch drop, that really big, bold, yes. dangle hoop drop earrings are the look. Yes, are the look. Are the, is the artist trend? Because, you know, you, you used, to, used to see hoop earrings uh, round and uh, shorter than this. Yeah. This is something uh, which is new, which is f a fresh look Absolutely. to hoop earrings. And uh, they are really, really comfortable thanks to the electroforming process. I mean, really, I light is a molecule of air. Um, the, the high polish is stunning. And if you are truly a woman who loves gold, um, but you're also starting to become healthily addicted to all of these bigger, bolder, more fashion looks, uh, to which we can thank the Italians, because largely all of that starts there and migrates over to the Americas. Um, if you love gold, but you love the fashion looks, uh, uh, oftentimes they are um, self-defeating, those two ideas, because gold in a big, bold fashion look is a big, bold price tag. So mm. the Veronese line brings us those gorgeous dynamite, and on you, with yeah. a cute little sundress or a great little tank or tea, I mean, please. They, they are always appropriate, they are perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, they're a hoop, you know, we, my gosh, a yeah. whole <laughs> encyclopedia you, will you soon be dedicated to You can get tired of hoops, <laughs> Irene. <laughs> thank you. Are you, thank are you, you done now? Are yes, you going back now? Maybe I'm coming oh. back at six oh, or six, six tonight. Uh, nine. I don't know yet. Excellent. Thanks a lot. <laughs> well, definitely, I hope if you guys have a, t a chance to tune in later tonight at six o'clock, we are going to be finishing out what is our big bonanza, all new, all silver, all on sale for spring summer in a final six hours on the day that will just, I think, um, complete what is a tremendous opportunity for silver lovers to pick up sale items and big looks. This was our new on the day from the Veronese line. Um, it, it is that gorgeous Etruscan inspired hammered crossover ring that is done in 18 karat. And it is J157064. The sale price is so negligible when you realize that that is 18 karat gold. And of course the weight you're getting makes it feel so tremendous on the hand because it is poured beautifully over sterling. Okay, so Orpaz is still on the way. Over a thousand sold on the day. It is a five carat, almost like prism faceted, clear quartz with for the first time ever in our Made in Israel Orpaz Sterling line, the colored exotic gemstones, your choice of the tanzanite or that beautiful deep magenta rhodolite. The bark texture is stunning. Um, it absolutely looks like a diamond ring, if you ask me, and for under $80, it's one of our show pieces, I don't mind telling you. Um, I love the Rotolite, you love the Rotolite. The Rotolite is actually the most limited, so the note to self here is hurry on the Rotolite. Very acid jazzy. Paola Valentini is gonna be here. We're, we're doing like a whole ode to Italy. It's really, we're spending most of our time in these two hours in Italy and in Israel. Two places that I love. Although if I'm honest, I've never been to Israel, but I've always wanted to go. All right, time for a little flower power. You wanna talk about loving silver and showcasing silver and really getting maximum silver. And then you wanna talk about another of a girl's best friends, diamonds. This is new. Please hurry on this. We only, well, I won't even tell you how many we have go to go around because it may make you cry. Uh, the diamond presence, which is all done in round pave, is clustered in the center stamen of what otherwise is this incredible interpretation. <laughs> I mean, they almost look like fluted trumpets that are just almost jumping from the stamen. Also, at certain angles, they look like the petals of an iris or a calla lily. This is a five-petaled sterling flower, a tenth of a carat of white diamonds in the center for under $80. Um, the retail value is on your screen. So the retail value takes you to over $120 for a piece here that as I pop it on my finger, um, just to me speaks so much to spring, summer, what we're all praying for, snow melt, flowers come up. Um, I love the fact that in even the finest of jewelry right now, we are taking silhouettes that normally were a little too whimsical or a little, um, 
or perhaps a little childlike, namely flowers and critters. And we are marrying them with precious metals, diamonds, gemstones, in jewelry that is so fresh and fabulous. And this, you know, again, given the presence, given the splay of those petals on the finger, you get this magnificent, bold, beautiful, sparkling from the diamonds um, blossom on your finger. And yet the shank is very delicate. Um, all of this is sterling. And just, I, you know, for me, I'm not even a green thumb or a gardener. But just that you start to smell those sweet scents in the air, even mentally, as we get to this time of year, you can't wait um, for the flowers to start popping up through the ground. You can't wait to get out that cute little ditzy floral skirt and wear it with a little thong sandal. Um, love the diamonds in the center of this. This is our Affinity Diamond line. We have a very cool brand new choice of white or the very trending blue diamonds hoops coming up in the show. Um, I believe we have another piece from, the, from uh, the Affinity Diamond line as well that we're gonna show you. But why I love the diamonds here in particular is, if I'm honest, a flower ring um, can perhaps look a little bit like something depending on it, how it's interpreted and how it's made. Like perhaps that your eight year old might wear. So then when you, t when you take the diamonds, when you take the diamonds, it just ups the ante by about three tiers. When you take pave diamonds, that some of the most luxe, some of the most wanted, sought after, and aspirational jewelers in the world use the pave style of setting in 20, 30, 40, 50, $75,000 engagement rings, and you center them at the stamen or in the center of those petals, that's just a big girl's flower. That is a beautiful, mature, luxury flower. Um, and for under $80, such a fun, fresh silhouette for spring, summer. So here is the affinity that is still to come that I was speaking to. These are the sweet little diamond hoops. One of my favorite earrings in the show because they almost appear to be channel set, but they are prong set. And I, I'm wearing them now, the blue diamonds that we cannot get enough of because exotic colors of diamonds just feel, frankly, so exotic. And two easy payments of $84 and change. The retail value is $270 on these. It's a half carat of full cut white diamonds or blue diamonds in these. So those are new. A thousand, 1,000 of these bangles spoken for already today. This is a buyer's pick. Um, we have to keep pointing that out because our buyers pour over many, many different styles and silhouettes and options. Um, they travel the world, Israel, Italy, um, from coast to shining coast to find you some of the most happening looks in silver to bring you on this, our last Bonanza silver sale before October. This was one of their picks. This is made in Italy. This is ultra fine silver. That means there is more pure silver than in sterling. This is 95% silver as opposed to 92.5% silver found in sterling. And this is our only ultra fine bangle on the day. It is hinged. It uh, closes with a sweet little snug um, mag snap, if you will. It is oval meaning it fits on the wrist almost like a second skin like you were born with it. And in the choices of the small six and three quarter inch wrist that fits, the average seven and a quarter inch that fits, the large eight inches that fits, now back timing, the large is 31.9 grams of silver. The average is 27.3 grams of silver. And the small is 24 seven grams of silver and to take it one step further not only is this our only ultra fine bangle on the day and it's brand new and it's made in the Italia and it's put on three easy payments which is rare in this show it also is the first time we have ever done a twisted bangle in ultra fine if you're a fan or a follower of ultra fine which is more tarnish resistant, um, nickel free. So if you tend to react to even sterling, you probably won't to ultra fine. There's more pure silver. So in my opinion, the luster here is more black tie worthy, is far more premium than even 925 sterling, which I live in every day. Um, 
But you, if you are a follower of Ultra Fine, you probably know the other bangle that I'm talking about. It's been a hot pick before. It's been featured on Silver Event Days before. It is just a beautiful, sleek, tubed bangle that is itself as well hinged. This is twisted. There are these incredible spiral divots that create this beautiful twisting rope-like, almost like the, the divots or the impressions in a conch shell, um, a conch shell in the side of this oval bangle that give it um, prism-like luster when you move because you're now manipulating and kind of warping the surface area of the silver upon which the natural or artificial light reflects off of it. Love the idea of layering too. This is three easy payments, so perhaps if it's a good day and you can do the easy pay, maybe you could get two. Um, because I think worn together, you start to get that very twisted, um, very spiral-like, very organic, bold, chunky look, which I just personally love. Um, I will tell you there is a new matching hoop earring and a new matching band ring on the day that matches back to this hot pick bangle. And bangles are just those pieces. I, I want to keep pointing this out because O'Reed's bangle, which is vir virtually sold out, but I'll kind of cheat this into the, into the shot. O'Reed's bangle would go so beautifully with this if you wanted to layer two different silhouettes together. And I love this look together because you're marrying classic with modern. And in fact, here, I'll even take it one step further and just demonstrate that live and in person. There's the Today's Special Value watch that's going to see its final presentation in this hour. There's a very classic, very kind of preppy inspired, very Grace Kelly timeless Audrey bangle, married with something that is very fashion fresh, kind of sexy, modern. I love the layering possibility with bangles with cuffs, and I love that as we head into spring, what we are largely going to see is sleeves hiking up, sleeves going away altogether, and more of our wrist and arm candy on display. So, oh my gosh, I must tell you, as a buyer's pick, that one I just think you will put on with the dingiest of jeans and the most glam of dresses for the graduation party in June all the time as we head into the warmer weather. All right, so this is a look at our buyer's picks since that was one of them. There is the tanzanite ring that we featured earlier that is our largest carat weight tanzanite ring in our assortment. Can we click on that other hot pick that's coming up because it's it's doggone it, my favorite ring in the show. I would wear it as a wedding ring, an engagement ring. We have it in three color choices. It's to a buyer's pick. It is a, a 19 karat quartz, or if you want the rose de France, that's that beautiful light lavender color. And it's got what look like diamonds wrapping over the top of the, of the gemstone, but they're really white barrels, which are from the Emerald family. <laughs> it is a work of sculptural art. It's coming up almost last in the show. Please stay tuned. Paola Valentini, Ciao, how are you? Ciao. Mwah. Very good. Mwah. How are you? You are a vision in purple. <laughs> Thank you. You're lovely. <laughs> um, all right, so this is Paola Valentini, and we're so pleased to have her here. Um, she designs pieces for us in sterling, and yet, remarkably, it is her original collection of gold jewelry that had her really recognized by the World Gold Council as one of the most trend-setting, trend-savvy designers in the world. And she does a line for us here at QVC in my favorite precious metal, which is sterling. This is an only presentation of the day on these earrings. They are brand new. And if perhaps you've been traveling in the Italia, <laughs> and they kind of sort of look a little familiar, that <laughs> is because you definitely saw them in Italia in yes. their version of Vogue on page 192, up front and center. Oh my gosh, there they are. And they're amazing. So, Paolo, how did you come to design these, which even as I move them and people see how they are structured, um, it really is like a, a feat of gravity. Tell everybody about these. See, um, it comes, the idea comes from a leaf. You know that the leaf is, for me, an icona. Um, an is iconic, yes. The iconic, yes. I love to work with this shape. But what I've done here, special and different from my other earrings, is that the attachment in between the top, which is also a kind tiny, small, cute leaf, different shape of leaf. Now, the attachment is done in a more original way than I usually do, I would say. Therefore, they move extremely, they dangle in it's a particular way. It's unbelievable. Yeah, they dangle in a particular way. Now, I did contrast the top leaf, the cute, tiny top leaf with the bottom one. Now, See the that? bottom one is a hand finish with, um, 
a little tool that I know, I don't know the English name, una fresa. Una In fresa. this fresa, there is powder of diamonds on top. Oh, cool. And that's oh, you had me at hello for $58, <laughs> now there's diamonds involved. No, 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 powder, <laughs> powder of, diamond of diamonds in the tool. It's okay. To make it's all the semantics, texture. Paola. <laughs> because the, the, the diamond is so hard, when it hits the silver, that's how you have this spatial effect of shiny in tiny little points. It's it's and like a scratch finish. It is, um, yes. But look at that. I just I think it's so clever the way they move. Again, the leaf which is so natural and organic and pretty, dripping from the ear and now it has that remarkable movement thanks to how these are constructed. Look at the amount of silver on show here. They hang from a shepherd's hook. They're one and three quarters of an inch long. They're made in a factory outside Vicenza and as a beautiful note and, and kind of tipping of our hat to the Italian culture, I hear there's only like 12 workers at that factory. Yeah, tiny little one. You know, lots of factories in Italy are really um, one man made thing, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and that's what, that's how you feel when you look at this jewelry that that's what I call the beauty of imperfection. You know, when things are handmade, there is a tiny cute little difference in between one and the other one which, which give too. them the uniqueness. Correct. The fact that you wear a little piece of art, That's actually I would say. It's totally handmade. Agree. They're not identical. Otherwise they would be machine made. Absolutely. Um, this is an only presentation of the day mm -hmm. for this ring. I'm going to show it to you on my finger. You know, I really should have paid more attention before coming on air that I had orange highlighter on my finger. I'm just such a graceful dove, aren't I? Um, this is a brand new ring, and I want you to know it too is featured in Viola magazine. It is so amazing how this is hand-wrapped from like twisted sterling rope, but even more amazing to me given the price of under $44. And of course the fact that this is made in Italy is the fact that over the weekend, in anticipation of this big bonanza sale, we emailed all of you um, a highlight of some of the things that would be featured as all new on the day. This was one of the top five items. And as a result, we have far fewer left to go around by now than we did when this day began. And I love what you're doing because you're showing us how you can stack and wear several together. Yes, and also what they want to show you is that if you look at three of them together, okay, well, they are absolutely not at all identical one to the other one. Mm -hmm. So you basically have one of a kind. We are talking about to me, this is the, you know, high luxury. You have something that is not at all the same one that someone else has. And I do wear those, you know, most of the time I wear them, two of them together. I love, I love the exaggeration. Now, one is okay, but I really want to outline the fact that, see, those are hand wrapped, so they cannot be identical and uh, to me this is very nature very organic um the way things move um i don't know the english name of w wine um vines vines it's like Thank vines you. they're like they're, they're, they're like, like vines, vines how know. cool is that again the you know if you're not into unique jewelry sculptural jewelry the kinds of pieces that are one of a kind that you would often see in a museum store then i get it you won't go for this but if you are like me um then you mm -hmm. will probably go for what is featured on the bottom page yeah. here in Vioto magazine their version of vogue um and i just think the the wrapping um, like a vine or a snake around the finger and the, and the roping is so unique. Now, one more thing in terms of trends um, is <sighs> that what we do in Italy now is that if you have um, a, f a ring, it would almost cover your finger. If you have a bracelet, it would go from here to here. If you have a necklace, then it's going to be big. This is the last trend. The trend is uh, covering your body with jewelry see and look at this um two places on a female form when we hit spring summer we stop wearing turtlenecks we wear open neck lines and t-shirts and we pull our hair back so you're going to see your earlobes and we stop wearing gloves and the sleeves hike <laughs> up and we're going to see our tan fingers so these two pieces which are paula's only in the show um one of the most trend savvy and trend setting designers mm -hmm. in precious metal in the world uh, brings us these two that are truly unique little gems. An update on the ring is as follows. For under $44, which is so negligible, we started with 900 rings. We now have fewer than 300 remaining. All sizes remaining. So if you want to kind of take a nod from uh, Paola and maybe order a size 5 and a 6, 
and stack them. Love that idea. Um, yes. Love this. Is that coming up later today? Yes, later on today. That's new. See, what I've done here, usually I have size 7 in English, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, here I have 8, 6, and 5, just because so I, I'm moving them, no, because I'm moving them in the wrong finger, what would be called the wrong finger, in order to be, you know, They're able so to comfy. stack them. They're so comfy. <laughs> Ciao. They are. Ciao. Ciao, cara. Mwah. Grazie. Mwah. A più tardi. Prego, Ciao. prego. Uh, 200 left in the ring now, and that is all. I'm so sorry, but I just knew that one would be a popular one. All right, in the earrings, we started with 600. Yes, we did. We have 150 remaining. Um, so very much a fan of Paolo's piece as you are this afternoon. In what is a very big two hours of Big Bonanza Silver that we actually didn't even expect to bring you until about a week ago. This is a, a, a sliver or a time block, if you will, in the middle of the day that was added very last minute. So the cool thing for you is that many of the things you are seeing in this two hours are not things that are featured in anybody else's shows on the day. Howdy doody. Um, I do want to say that this is my absolute favorite ring in the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And here we go. Holy moly. Yeah. Okay. So it's two easy payments of less than $50. The whole price for a beautiful sale price savings of $20 on this day is $99 and change. You're choosing from limon quartz, smoky quartz, or something that is beautiful and really, if you ask me, rare to our assortment, Rose de France, which is a lavender amethyst. Um, in that Rose de France, we have some sizes that are now advanced order. So seven, eight, and nine are in their advanced orders. Here's the other thing I want to share with you. A um, <clears throat> couple things about this ring that I just think make it remarkable and extravagant. The first would be the carat weight. 19 carats of stone. Really? Really. Oh, it's so good. 19 carats of stone that I've chosen to put on in the limon because, of course, I'm wearing a shade of chartreuse in limon today. 19 carats of stone that are checkerboard faceted. And then in the most kind of gravitational feat of optical illusion, they've taken the sterling and they have wrapped it across the top of the stone. Normally in traditional jewelry terms, you don't want anything interrupting the beauty of the stone. However, this is a very sculptural and modern interpretation. So now it is not just the stone, despite its 19 carats that is on showcase here. The sterling ribboning across the top of the stone which just looks kind of beautiful as if it grew like a vine over the stone in nature, is all beautifully dotted with not white diamonds, though they look to be. Those are white beryl. Beryl is a gemstone that is a family of gemstones that emeralds live in. Um, so all of those are beautifully bead set in the sterling ribbons that wrap over the top of the stone. Wildly comfortable ring. Have to tell you on two easy payments of um, $49 and change to get 19 carats of stone to get, by the way, what looks to be white diamonds set in what could easily um, pass for platinum in an incredibly, despite its size and appearance visually, lightweight and comfortable ring. I will just tell you, I have a friend who literally has an engagement ring um, she's married now, so it is her engagement or wedding set. She doesn't have a, um, a wedding band. She just wear, this is, l I saw this ring and I thought for sure that, that someone had seen hers and frankly had, had copied it because I rarely see these sil silhouettes with precious metal and stones wrapping over and interrupting what is otherwise the beauty of the center gemstone. So, um, she wears this on her left hand finger. And though this is not her ring, it's almost a dead ringer for it. And she wears it on her left hand finger. And because the, the white barrels look to be like white diamonds, this for me could easily pass as an engagement ring. I think the size is stunning. I think the color is amazing. Um, the smoky quartz is very rich, very mocha, very coffee. Um, and yet, of course, those tones, which live in a world of beautiful neutrals, play any time of the year and also go with anything. That is kind of like the little black dress of gemstones, the smoky quartz. The limon quartz, which is so fresh and sprightly and tangy and citrusy. And then that rose de France, 
which is that beautiful light lavender. You almost can smell it um, just based on that beautiful color. So that is my favorite ring in the show, I have to say. And if you're not a bold ring girl, completely appreciate that, then you won't go for this ring. But 19 carats for under $100, done in sterling and white barrel, it really is an overlay ring unlike anything else in our assortment and it does kind of mimic um, the feel of the silhouettes we see this time of year, which are those wrap dresses and those sarongs. So really enjoy that one. So it's one of the most aspirational looks in fine timepieces. We're talking about the chronograph watch, those Submariner watches, um, the kind done in stainless steel, in premium brand names that can cost tens of thousands of dollars. Even in the fashion timepiece marketplace right now, there are um, timepieces going for twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars that have designer names on the face and they're done in base metal. But what they do have is this, the chronograph. Um, circa the 18th century, those sub dials on the face, that Robert Elizondo and his Ecclesi line, which is our premium sterling silver watch line here on QVC, it took him a very long time to finally bring us a chronograph, but he knew in honor of a today's special value that it was worthy of a big bonanza silver day, that today was the day. Um, this is our final presentation of this watch. Comes on three easy payments. I'm going to get you through some colors because one color sold out earlier. This is our bone. Um, I'm giving you colors of the strap which is a snake embossed cowhide leather and the strap can come off. There's a sweet little pin on the underside that you push in. The strap on either side of the watch beautifully and effortlessly comes off and can pair back to other colored straps that you can get on QVC.com. Black, over here two of my favorite colors which would be um, the mandarin or the blood orange. Again, that's all snake embossed. And the one that I have been wearing, and I'll just show you really quickly, I've been wearing it all show, is my favorite, which is the turquoise. Um, coin edge finish on the face, which is round. Numbers that are hand applied at every hour. Three sub dials on the face, a date window, a second hand, all of that done in girthy sterling silver. The weight to this timepiece is truly luxe. Um, stainless steel case back. The strap is adjustable from six to seven and a half inches. And I just think the look of this watch rivals truly some of the finest timepieces you could see in some of the most premium jewelry store windows. And yet in many cases, base metal or not precious metal are used in even the designer brand names. In this case, that is all sterling silver. So three easy payments of $53.16. In our first ever chronograph watch from Ecclesi, um, done at J157450. The papaya, which you see there, sold out earlier today. You can get other matching interchangeable straps on QVC.com in a set of three. And I will tell you, this is now the official final presentation of our today's special value on air. The retail value on the screen is fairly startling. So what a very special piece to have on our big bonanza, all new, all on sale, Silver Day. Luminosa is a brand new chain that is made in Italy from ultra fine silver. It is done in a almost box four-sided formation out of little oval hexagonal platelets. It's in advanced order. It's one of our most affordable ways in the show to try silver from QVC, but ultra fine silver is a step above. $32 is how much the 18 inch length is. It's in advanced order now in all four lengths. And I will tell you, luminosa means bright or filled with light. So that's gonna be a very lightweight chain, but because of its Italian construction, it's even gonna be hardy enough to, to allow you to display the biggest and boldest dependents or enhancers on it. How we started our show is a very popular item, 900 spoken for. It is absolutely a gorgeous, big, bold ring done in your choice of 18 karat rose gold, yellow gold, black rhodium plate, or that big bountiful silver. Um, those little dimples or, or flecks are actually hand applied hundreds of little diamond cut pinpoints. And of course, the rest of it is a big growing leafy vine over your finger that reminds me of Caesar's crown. In fact, I'll give you a quick look at it when we come back, because I just think, as worn with our hot pick that's coming up later, what a showpiece. Again, you know, we're, we're really spending our time now um, on these event days trying to bring you items that you just do not have in your assortment. Looks like it's diamond dusted 
and weaves itself all the way around your finger. That's the hot pick. We'll give you a sneak peek at that coming up in just a little bit. We are 15 minutes from the end of what is um, two hours of Big Bonanza Silver. And I want to bring you something new from our Affinity Diamond line. Um, diamonds, my goodness. <laughs> diamonds, of course, like gold and actually like sterling. Uh, very, very expensive. So whenever we have Affinity Diamond shows, we often tell you in many cases that we can't, because of the diamond market now, um, we can't bring you back. Uh, silhouettes and price points that we are able to offer you now. On this day, we bring you something new. These are on two easy payments. You are getting a half carat of all full cut, meaning those are round brilliance, all hand set. They are prongs, but they appear from where you're sitting to be channel set. All full cut, 53 to 57 facet in each one of those white diamonds or your choice of the exotic blue diamonds in a cute little otherwise everyday worthy from suit to sweatsuit, sweet little, oh dear, there we go, um, great little half carat diamond, three quarter inch sterling hoop. I'm wearing these. I'm wearing a navy blue skirt, so I decided to put on the blue diamond. Blue diamonds <laughs> in our affinity line are the biggest um, kind of diamond thing going for us and for you. Um, white diamonds certainly have a pedigree unto themselves, but blue diamonds have something about them in terms of their color. It just must be perhaps that between pink and blue, they're the two most trending colors for spring summer. And in this case, you're getting a half carat of diamonds, hand set, a half carat of diamonds, and they're all full cut for $169 and change. Two easy payments are available here. Um, these have a sweet, slightly bigger drop than a huggy hoop, but so comfy and so precious that you would almost fall asleep in them. So great with a little polo shirt, so great doing cocktail, so great with a little ribbed tank top and you know maybe like a little eyelet lace skirt and espadrille. So great to wear um, you know, to the office, but also to the 7-Eleven. These could become your hoop version of your everyday stud. Hoops that are so classic go with everything. And these, of course, don't have too big of a drop that they add too much drama to your outfit or your silhouette. So if you work in a career um, or if you have children and toddlers who, when you carry them, they love to grab at anything big and blingy hanging down from your lobes, um, these really have a beautiful, beautiful, I think, manageable size and drop that's just very sweet. Um, the blue, if we can just see this, because I just want you to see the blue color. It's just, it, it, it's not too navy. Um, there is a hint of teal in there. Um, there is a hint of almost turquoise in there. Uh, the blue that frankly almost matches the bust form is such a beautiful pairing, I think, to the white luster of the sterling silver. And again, I'll just show you around back because I want to show you how these fasten. You know, this is another very, very upscale way for doing a hoop. This right here is a snap bar closure. This right here, when you fasten it onto your lobe, that fits right in and snaps. So of course, frontally speaking, you don't see the closure mechanism. And on the ear, it almost looks like these are um, growing through your lobe, if you will. There's a seamless transition from front to back when you wear them. Just a tremendous, sweet little hoop. And I think if you already have hoops of every form and, and derivative in your jewelry arsenal, I think to do a, a sweet little huggy hoop, two easy payments and a half carat of diamonds, I probably would go for the blue just because they feel a little bit more exotic. Um, but even as a gift, if you have anyone, my mom's birthday is March 23rd, birthdays and graduations and oh, those would be a great one. Um, Paula's leaf earrings sold out, not surprised in the least. Her ring also sold out, not surprised in the least. So we have just a few items to go in these two hours of Big Bonanza. And I'm so excited that we're bringing you an opaque gemstone. I'm so excited that we're bringing you turquoise. So one of the, one of the trending, trending, I think, looks in fashion and also in jewelry come spring, summer is color. We can't get enough of it. And there are analysts upon analysts and the Hal Rubensteins from InStyle Magazine. And when we were in LA for red carpet and the Isaac Mizrakis and everyone that you interviewed when they talked about trend, even hairdressers said, it's about color. Turquoise is gorgeous because you're getting 
matrix and warbling and shades that no two are alike from blues to greens. In this case, this necklace is 17 inches with a two inch extender and it represents our only turquoise necklace on the day. First of all, what I absolutely noted and loved about this, this necklace when our buyer met with me this morning, Allison, thank you so much. You notice anything about the beads here? They're not perfectly round. They're oval, they're almost free form because some of them are a little imperfect and they graduate in size. So um, they taper, they start smaller and they get larger and more showcase and showpiece towards the center. Those are sterling beads, this is all hand strung. These are some of your more misshapen um, freeform turquoise beads, blues, beautiful greens, almost like staring into the shallow end of the Virgin Islands um, Sea. And you can see too the matrixing that almost looks like gold foiling going through these beads. That's all natural. That is all completely natural. This is a brand new necklace. I wanted to show you what it looks like against a backdrop of color because when we talk about, you know, I'm not saying that this isn't indulgent. I know the retail value on this piece, just one of them is close to $190, but on a big Bonanza silver sale day, um, our sale price is $112. Even if you had your own faux turquoise beads or some other turquoise station necklaces from Southwestern Jewelry, you could easily layer uh, this piece in with those. Some of the most heirloom Americana designers in the world that have runway shows, um, you know, the horse and hound set, they show white linen and turquoise for spring summer. And these I just think are so exotic because as the only turquoise necklace on our day, the color is like true turquoise. It's that kind of, that those hues of greens and blues, you know, it's not one or the other, you're getting both in this necklace. And just worn against a backdrop of white, what a gorgeous color pop. And if you have tan skin or faux tan skin for spring summer, bring on the turquoise and layer that with other pieces, especially long um, sterling station necklaces, even um, diamonds by the yard would love that drippy look. Great burst of color there as we get ready to enter our final eight minutes of our bonanza. Everything's new, including this. It's gonna take us to Israel. Um, or Paz is one of my favorite sterling lines at QVC. It's made entirely in Israel. Um, this is a buyer's pick on the day. This is not only a buyer's pick, this is our only or paws ring on the day. I'm actually just going to show it to you. I'm going to put the other choice on my finger. Nope, not that one. Oh, bear with me. Um, I'm going to put the tanzanite and the rhodolite. Tanzanite is, is of course, that, that lavender hue. Um, the rhodolite, which is by far and away the most limited, is that deep magenta, which is not even something that I've ever seen us do very often here in our Orpaz line, or any line for that matter. But what you really have not seen us do a lot of at all is marry in our Orpaz line, made in Israel, exotic colored gems with our Orpaz line. You've largely only seen opaque stones or quartzes. You are getting a five carat clear quartz that looks like a prism faceted white diamond. It is bezel set in sterling that is given such an ancient kind of Byzantine inspired bark texture that is all done by hand in something that becomes a beacon on the finger and when you turn your hand sideways it does indeed look like a little tiered martini glass and those three stones past present future sit at the base of what is a true I think um, bright shining light one that because it mimics the look of a diamond could effortlessly be worn on the left hand finger as I'm going to do right now and look like an engagement ring. Gorgeous piece, impactful. Um, pink rhodolite is something very special. We don't do a lot of it. Um, also too, I will tell you, this is the first time that we've ever combined those gemstones that bring us exotic color with the Orpaz line. And I just think for under $80, to get five carats even in a center stone, um, to get something that is a buyer's pick on the day. This is a true, true work of art. Um, the texture that is done on the silver is something that is done by hand. Um, this is actually a replica of a thousands of dollars solid golden gemstone ring. Um, I will also tell you too, you know, when we talk about taking trips to ancient lands, when we talk about impactful jewelry, jewelry that has a story to it, jewelry that has a story and a look about it that really feels like you went somewhere special um, and picked up a piece of jewelry. Orpaz 
um, and adipas, it's sister line done in gold, has that texture and that imperfect and that very organic feel that you just know um, it is made in somewhere um, far off. And in this place, my goodness, the birthplace of Christ. Uh, this is a piece out of Israel that is a hot pick on the day. It is a buyer's pick on the day. It is one of my favorite pieces in these two hours. A reminder of our Luminosa chain. I'm wearing it in the 36 inches. It's one of our most affordable items in the show. One of our easiest ways in the show to try Ultra Fine. It's a brand new link of chain called Luminosa, which means lightweight or airy or filled with light. Um, this one is in advanced orders. This one's been very popular. And this one comes in an 18, 20, 24, and also the 36 inches that I'll show you in a second on me. All right, 1,000 of these rings spoken for. And um, I was looking for the silver, and oh boy, there you are. So this is uh, a real, real treat in the show. So first of all, let's get through your choices. Um, 1,000 of these spoken for. You're actually in two of the choices, get an 18 karat gold over silver for $69. 18 karat rose gold. That actually is black rhodium. Then, of course, 18 karat yellow gold. And then for the purest, that beautiful sterling. Now, as I demonstrate on me, I just want to show you what the design is here. First of all, this is a ring made uh, at a, a factory in Arezzo, um, a factory in Arezzo, Italy. So this is a brand new design and a brand new technique that we are debuting for you today. And what you're seeing there that almost looked like if you were traveling at 35,000 feet in an airplane at night and you looked out the window and you saw all the bright gleaming lights of the skyscrapers, all of that that almost looks like little pave gemstones set into the molten metal, those are hundreds, hundreds of hand-applied, diamond-cut pinpoints that have been hand-done to the otherwise satin finish of the precious metal, which is done in this beautiful kind of leaf-wrapped Caesar's crown design um, that is an inch from top to bottom, knuckle to knuckle, I adore the rose gold selection just because I think that color of blush and kind of champagne and bronze is so warming. And when in the summer you have tan skin, oh. But back to any one of the choices, um, this is new to our assortment. And whether you wear it this way or you turn it the other way and wear it upside down um, or right side up, it's really your choice. This in kind of what feels like a gorgeous tropical leaf growing over your finger represents something new from our Arte d'Argento line. Arte d'Argento is our line of Italian-made silver. So if you're thinking, well, then why do I see yellow and rose gold on screen? Because we often, of course, since the Italians are so, so beautiful when it comes to their magnificent techniques in working in gold, um, it's only fitting that in Arte d'Argento, the art of silver, we would bring you Italian-made silver that in some cases also layers and lathers 18 karat gold over it and it gives you the look and the feel and the weightiness of solid solid gold that otherwise would be too far too oppressive in price point um, this bold organic look i just think as we wear all sorts of leaf and flower inspired prints for spring summer is fabu i think the easy pay is fantastic because it's a little bit more than a dollar a day for 18 karat in two of your four choices and the total price on this, the sale price that saves you um, almost $20 here on this big bonanza all new, all sale day is 69 and change. Perhaps you see a feather there, whatever it is you see, uh, it's certainly unmistakable. A couple remind reminders, our Tanzanite was our largest carat weight Tanzanite ring in our whole assortment that debuted today and was featured in this show. Um, pear cut Tanzanites that tend to be very rare featured in that ring, which is an inch from top to bottom and available on three easy payments of $76 and change. It's over five carats of Tanzanite. Marries beautifully with Orit Schatzman's very limited now bangle. Um, we started with 500 of these, 100 remain. It's just gorgeous. Um, Sky Earth is two dozen remaining. That's the one that marries rust tones with turquoise tones. Um, that's the Sky Earth. The Royal Purple is something that we only have about six dozen remaining of, and that um, final choice that we had on screen is gone. 
well, I hate to do it, but I have to take all my fun silver off. Um, I'm waiting to toss things over to Sharon Feitch and our good buddy Steve Mahoney from Clark's. And I hope you'll tune in at 6 o'clock tonight because we're going to end out this big Bonanza sale day with six gorgeous grand finale hours with more new and more sale. And guys, I'm out of here. It's over to you. Thank you very much, Miss Sean. That is right. We have an hour of Oy. clock. So here's the deal. I what mean, was we've been talking about silver all throughout the day today, but now we're going to take a little bit of a break, breathe. We'll go back to silver at 6 p.m., but now we get to talk about super happy and super cute feet with a brand that's been in the industry since 1825 called Clark's. Steve Mahoney, not here since 1825, but uh, with Clark's for about 15 years. Is 15 right? years today, actually. I just really? remember that. I was hired March 1st of 1996.